Hi everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about whether you have a perfect CV or not and if not then how you can make one. So let's dive into the video. Okay guys, now for somebody who will be applying for the jobs how they can make their CVs impressive. So a perfect CV should contain a personal statement, work experience and your professional certifications and your skill set. For sure guys so these are four points guys you should never miss in your cv okay so make sure that we have included these four pointers over here personal statement talks about the personality of the per person guys over here so that is the first line that you should include work experience that talks about your achievements over here so bring those things that you have achieved in the previous organization and what all the projects that you have handled and professional certification talks about that person want to be up to date over here as per the market needs and then your skill set what is your core competency on what you have worked basically if you are from the networking background put that if you are from the ad background put that particular requirement over here okay guys your azure jobs and your interview preparation so uh, this is uh, how your resume looks like so we have taken one example that you should have your photo on your resume you have your uh, you know uh, the name on your exam i mean this is the resume okay and this is the another resume over here so i mean this is how you know usually the people approach and this is how one should approach by keeping the certification on the top their experience their training and their skill over here definitely the resume on the right side looks more impressive even though there is no picture on top of it because that talk, talks about moreover it is a clear indication of your eye catching solution that okay this is what you have recently up to date right so people will be more interested to know about what you have learned and you can see it has mentioned about your certifications as well right your professional certifications and the training that you have gone through right so this is one way of doing that but if you see including these parameters right with all these skills and your ongoing technology that you have acquired will give more edge to finding your job because guys, when somebody applies for the job, there are plenty of resumes. If you want your resume to be sh shortlisted, your knowledge aparts, the entrance point is your shortlisting of the resume. So do some sanity things, guys. I mean, this is just ensure that, you know, that at least you will get a call. So keep these points over here. So out of below to resume CVs, which one you choose if you are a recruiter? Just think about it. Let's say if I'm having very less time and I have need to go through with the plenty of the resume, which I should be checking over here and why I should go through. So people who will have very less time, they will pick, okay, this is something that I have already done the certification. Let's pick these resume, let's start conducting the interview. Because by the time, if this particular person gets the call, what if, if the candidate has already been shortlisted? So this is how we should approach. Now, there are some job description over here that we are Accenture Federal Services, helping our federal clients tackling your toughest challenges while unleashing the full fullest potential and then somewhat makes your approach unique and operating from the national capital we expand cloud adaptation by bringing together commercial innovation and leading edge technologies to deliver in an integrated so this is about the company over here that your organization usually keep and on what kind of the technologies they will be working and you are proud to know that your cloud and your azure enthusiast and you have kind of leading in spring now here you have to keep an eye that what exactly the skill set they are looking for. So the work includes the, you know, the participant is a technical solution and design discussion, leveraging a cloud-based architecture, lead project team to solve the problem. Now this is talks about more about what will be the job and how you have to prepare for that particular job, right? So make your JD description, you know, accordingly. If you gone through a, you know, business requirement, Keep those pointers in your JD as well. You can just do a little bit of the modification and definitely you can ensure that you will be getting the call on the basis of that. Ability to highly technical concepts to non-technical execution audience as well. Okay, so the people, because your directors and your, uh, let's say your CEOs or any particular, you know, the managers may not be that technical what you are. So you should be able to articulate and you should be able to explain what you have learned or what you have implemented to them as well. Okay. Yeah? So these are certain things guys that you can keep an eye there can be another job description that our team is growing so probably a startup company so this is one of the requirements from full-fledged organization they already know the requirement the startup companies may have more requirements over here but better opportunities for the learning as well 
So joining a team strategy and sending an Azure solution architect focus of the technologies enable the support for your colleagues and the customer services, mandatory skill set, architecture, and the application design to the points, right? Azure experiences must hands on experience on your Java microservices for somebody who have created. And guys, if you see 70%, 60% matching, apply for the job. If you see there is a 80% of the difference, guys. Uh, don't expect much over there because guys not every time all the jobs are for you Because even if you have cleared the interview you will not be able to perform well if only 20% and 10% resume is matching Okay, so always look into your job description and Be ready for the rejections as well because nobody has got the first thing right if you have prepared well continue to be that and Be a uh, consistent guys what I have seen because you only want one selection out of multiple rejections. So don't get disheartened or anything like that whenever you are applying for the job, guys. I've seen people that, oh, I have applied for two times. Guys, trust me, 20, 25 times people apply, they get two, three times selected over there, and then they start comparing the packages over here. So you only required one or two selections. You don't require all the selection, and not all the jobs are for you. So make sure gradually, you know, um, look into those kind of the requirements so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you want to have a deeper dive then we have something really special for you we have our free class on az305 certification free class that includes how to prepare for azure cloud jobs and along with certification and in this session you'll be learning about why you should learn azure cloud azure cloud certification roadmap for cloud engineers and architects and a lot more so if you want to register for the same then you just have to visit k21academy.com forward slash az30502 you'll be seeing this kind of interface just click on book your free seat now select an event date enter your full name your email address your phone number and click on yes save my seat You'll be seeing this kind of link on the extreme right. Add that link to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.